Hello, and welcome to part 14 of the Pokemon Red Nuzlocke. Uh, last time we were taking on Giovanni, and that's exactly what we're going to keep doing in this episode. Now, I was hoping to have Topsy Turvy around level 35 or so before taking on Giovanni. I hope we can get to that point. Wow, that was a crit too. We uh, we give zero fucks about a critical hit karate chop, apparently. Level 43. Like, I want to stay in because I feel like Rhyhorn's moveset is not very good. Let me, um, let me actually check that out real quick. Just because I would love to give Topsy Turvy some experience. Um, well, it doesn't learn Horn Drill till 45. So right now it knows Horn Attack, Stomp, Tail Whip, and Fury Attack. Um, if we get tail whipped, I think I'm going to get out of here, but we're going to stay in and go for a surf. Uh, I forget in Gen 1 if quad effective is a thing. Um, it would be quad effective if, if, if so. Either way, we got it in one hit. Alright, which way? Can we go this way? This guy just straight up abusing his Pokemon. Wow, that did a lot less than I thought it would. Maybe we'll get a uh, surf with some stab, and that will. Or maybe we will just be fully paralyzed. If we would have got fully paralyzed four times in a row, I definitely would have used a full heal. And if this doesn't kill, ooh. All he's got is bite and poison sting. That's all he can do to us. Okay, definitely gonna heal up after this one if it doesn't kill. Man, Topsy Turvy really does have good typing. I mean, just the rock type alone. But also having water, the water typing to resist. Fire moves, water moves. God, we are, we are getting pretty damn unlucky with that paralysis. It's like the sixth time we've been fully paralyzed. Tauros, huh? Well, let's see what Tauros learns. Okay. 
Well, we don't know what level it is, but I'm guessing it's under level 44. So, Leer, Tail Whip, Stomp, and Tackle. It learns Tail Whip and Leer. Don't those do the same exact thing? Yeah, since we have the two stages lowered um, from the Screech, I think it's best to jump out of there. So one thing I'm not sure of is the the typing of fighting. Yeah, fighting is super uh, effective against rock. So we're gonna not risk getting karate chopped or any any anything like that. And at the rate we're leveling up, we're not going to have our Pokemon much higher than like level 45 or 50 by the time we get to the Elite Four. And that's going to be... It's going to be like a 15 level differential. And 50 might even be optimistic. We might be looking more at like level 47. Um, not allowing for grinding these battles. And the Elite Four could get very difficult. It's got double kick. He's probably gonna use it. Almost certainly he's gonna use it. I think the way this generation works is Pokemon will always use moves that are super effective. Always. So we can't rely on it um, using anything else. I'm just trying to decide for so the battle against Giovanni. I'm just trying to decide if we want to keep Topsy Turvy out and try to uh, take on the Rhyhorn, or if we want to put someone like Clone out front so that we don't have to worry about getting one shotted. Um, then again, it does it does scare the hell out of me to put Clone out against that Rhydon. I mean, if Clone doesn't one-shot with a Psychic and that Rhydon connects with a Fissure or a Horn Drill, that is it for the Mewtwo. That's, that's it. Let's get Zip Zap get some experience too from these since we're fighting some. Uh, he is already level 45 though. What about Ash Trotter? Body moves don't have 
any kind of advantage over fire, right? Can we connect to the fire blast? All right. And the crit, wow. I don't think we needed it, but. here. Why the AI uses focus energy and then Lear is beyond me. trainers we fought that. yeah we fought that guy up there all right um let's heal up and let's take on I mean Giovanni I am gonna put clone out front for the for the Rhyhorn I decided <clears throat> I'd prefer to just one shot it and not have it pose a threat of landing a horn drill. putting anybody in against his ground Pokemon. Oh shit, we don't have any more psychics. I would have uh, really liked to have a psychic around to save for his ride on. Oh, you know what I said I would do though? Which I'll do if I don't kill this middle queen. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to throw up some double teams because um, I don't I really don't want to get hit. Yeah, my hope is with six double teams in a move that only hits 30% of the time that we can get two confusions off and kill him before he gets the one fissure or horn drill. Is this four or five? Okay, yeah. That was me knuckles. Okay, here we go, fighting the Rhydon. If after all that, we, yeah, we just, okay, we one shot without the crit, just using confusion. Dad, Michi's special is insane. Okay, well, that didn't uh, didn't end up being that bad. So, if I remember correctly, do we have one more battle with Blue before we before we take on the Elite Four? Because Blue's going to be at the end waiting for us. But I was. Trying to remember if we also fight him when we head west here. 
And since we're not gonna need cut, we can go ahead and pull out our Zubat. Bye Cutter, thanks for all your help. Yep, this is it. I'm glad we did this on camera. A little bit of foreshadowing there. He says it's a warm up for the league, Pokemon League, and, and he meant it's a warm up for the final battle against him. Good lord, he's got he's got some high level mon. As long as he continues to use agility, um, it's fine by me. We should be able to kill him with two blitz. Oh, that was a crit. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to connect with. Uh, kill with two, I mean. Maybe a surf should do it. So, is it possible that agility, he's trying to use agility because he thinks it'll be super effective? I, I mean, free experience for us either way. That was really nice. Yes, okay, finally. I was waiting for an Absorb. Get rid of Harden. Not that Absorb is going to be all that useful to us, but it would be nice against some water Pokemon where we don't really have anything besides Strength. Now we're going to stay in. Now at this level, Rhyhorn could possibly know Horn Drill. I think it's at level 44, like I said earlier. But one surf will take it out. God, Topsy Turvy is just an absolute monster. Something with agility. They love agility. I wonder if Psychic, Psychic is uh, overpowers Rock in this game. No, I'm looking at it. Psychic isn't super effective against Rock. I'm not sure why. Why they keep using agility? There must be there must be some kind of glitch in the AI. Execute, uh, execute. We're gonna be it's gonna be quite effective against us with the water move, but we can throw in. Oh, not Goldilocks! No, 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 no. Ash Trotter. We would have been throwing Goldilocks in just to die. Take a second to rearrange his moves. Wow, I really wish um, Ash Trotter could learn Flamethrower. I don't even know if Flamethrower is a TM in this game. That's the real, real tragedy. Alakazam. We're going to get hit with a Psychic. And who better to take that than you two? He's probably just going to spam recover, um, but we should be able to knock it out in like a couple strengths. Yeah, because he's we're going to do more damage than he can actually recover. Which is great news since in this generation, these Pokemon don't run out of PP. And then his last Pokemon will be the Blastoise. Um, I'm actually thinking of, or I was thinking of sending in Topsy Turvy, but a uh, critical hit Hydro Pump, um, I'm worried about. I mean, for that matter, I'm worried about it against Zip Zap too, but I, I would love Zip Zap to be able to take this out in a Thunderbolt. I was thinking of a Thunder, but... Well, here's the thing. If we miss with a Thunder, It'd be like the same thing as not connecting or not killing once with the Thunderbolt, because either way he's gonna get get a chance to hit us. 
And if you can one-shot us with a Hydro Pump, maybe it's worth it to go for Thunder. Or maybe it's... This only gives him one chance to hit us versus giving him two chances if we miss a Thunder. You can go Thunderbolt. Well, yeah, I guess there was no worrying to be done. With Zapdos's incredible power, and type advantage, and stab. Okay, um, so just for the fun of it. Uh, who's Poison Cash Trap? Just for the fun of it, why don't we go ahead and make our way up to Victory Road? You know, kind of through the, the Poke Gate. We can do this all on camera. And then what I'll probably do is just do Victory Road off screen since there's nothing particularly exciting in there. There's just going to be the typical, um, you know, high level wild Pokemon and gym trainers, uh, not gym trainers, um, regular trainers. And I don't anticipate us having any difficulties until we get to the Elite Four. So the thing I just thought of too that's kind of nice. Although now I'm, I just want to make sure I, I want to check on that. Yeah, so Ice is not super effective against Rock. It's, it's the other way around, I guess. So Lorelei... Lorelei doesn't have much to do against Topsy-Turvy. should be able to fire off some absorbs um, and with some of her Pokemon being water ice I think a, uh, a fair amount of them are water ice we shouldn't have any problem uh, beating Lorelei I don't want to use Zapdos for obvious reasons well the next time uh, you see me in the next video the last video hopefully We'll be at the Elite Four. Um, we'll see if we can get through all of them in, in 25 minutes, and if not, we'll break it up, or maybe it'll just be a long episode. But thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in what will hopefully be the last video.